What is up my book besties? I have missed you guys so much. Um, I have been a little MIA. I was sick, lost my voice. As you can see, it's not 100% yet, or as you can hear. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get back into it. For this video, we are gonna do book mail. So I've got, I've got some author mail and I do have another thing coming from an author. I think she said it'll be here Thursday. So I'll do her um, probably with my book haul, but I've got um, Hello Lovely. I finally got into Probably Smut. So this is my first month's box and I'm really excited about that. The book, cause they tell you the book with that one and I know what book it is. I don't remember off the top of my head, but it's one that I'm not really familiar with. However, October's book is Wildfire, which is book two in uh, the Icebreaker series by Hannah Grace. And it's a special edition, and I was able to add on the special edition of Icebreaker, so I cannot wait for that one. I've also got my a book of the month for September and Owl Crate, which I think the Owl Crate is from August because I said I was sick. I haven't been getting this done. So we're going to go ahead and just do these book mails in this video. So let's start with um, this one. I'm going to show this side because my address is on the other. But this is a, a giveaway that I won with an author. It's uh, Vera Brook. And I believe this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. Let me open this. Um, and so I won a giveaway. And she sent this to me. And I'm so excited because I don't really win many giveaways. But you will see when I do my uh, book haul that I want a giveaway on TikTok also with just another book talker. And so I'll talk about that there. Okay, so it is called The Misfit and the Beast and it's plastic wrap. So I'm gonna cut this open so we can look at the cover. And she gave me some bookmarks with it that just kind of describe the book. Um, it says, first love, retelling high school theater and courage to break the rules. A thrilling YA romance that will take your breath away. So this is a YA. The cover is gorgeous. Um, Purple is my favorite color, so I love this. And it says, The Misfit and the Beast, Ever After Series, Book One. Um, so I said, I know that this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. Beauty and the Beast is my favorite Disney movie. And oddly enough, I have not read any Beauty and the Beast retellings yet. So I'm excited to read this, and it's pretty thick. So that is my first uh, book mail that I have here. Then we've got Hello Lovely... So last month, uh, we had Why Choose was the trope. This month, it's Silver Fox. And this just came yesterday, so I was waiting on this to do this book mail. And hoping that my voice would get a little better, but it's not terrible right now as it was. So as usual, they got their little card in here when you open it up. And then they usually include like a sticker and a bookmark. Or just a sticker it's just a sticker this one says silver fox squad sorry if it's kind of sunny in the back I'm trying to block it um, and the book is shortcake by Katana Collins a reformed bad girl should never fall into bed with a cop okay taboo so this is a, a cop and a bad girl so I'm gonna read the back because I'm not familiar with this book it says that awkward moment when your one night stand is a new sheriff in town and he's here to arrest you. Yep, a reformed bad girl should never fall into bed with a cop. Conrad Meyer is everything I've always tried to avoid. A know-it-all, grumpy goody two-shoes with piercing eyes and a distractingly sexy body. And to top it all off, he's a cop. As the resident party girl, I gravitate more to tattoo bad boys on motorcycles than clean-cut single dads in squad cars. Unfortunately, Conrad isn't only the new sheriff, he's also my new landlord. Well, despite this, I have every intention to keep my distance. However, fate has other ideas. When faulty wiring causes an electrical fire and I have no choice but to move in with him for a few weeks while my apartment's being repaired. But when the town stick in the mud kisses me, all I can think about is what's beneath those grumpy pants of his. So this is grumpy sunshine, taboo, um, forced proximity this just has it all and it's called shortcake which is really cute i'm going to take the cover or the plastic off so we can look at it a little better so it's kind of like a light purple color and it's got the word shortcake in different colors on there this it's kind of got like that matte feeling which i like and then um 
we've got the author's signature there this looks really cute oh and look in between the pages there's like little strawberries like strawberry shortcake that's super cute i'm excited for this one i have not heard of this one before so this is my second one with hello lovely and i'm getting um this is the trope of the month book box i'm getting tropes that i love with books that i haven't heard of which i like because i'm less likely to get something i already have so shortcake now we're gonna look at probably smut I've been waiting for this um, I've been on a list for this for a while and it's a pretty good size box I've uh, ordered stickers too and I don't know if they're gonna be included in here so I hope they are and I do the $40 a month one which comes with um, a t-shirt stickers and stuff like that too so this is what the front of it looks like and then ooh, opening it up okay let oh it is cute it says hey hot stuff enjoy your probably smut okay so i know that probably smut does um fantasy and romance i got attracted to them when i saw their special edition fourth wing box because they are fairly new they've only been out a few months and now that i see the wildfire one coming next month i'm sold okay so i said i got the 40 dollars box you can also get one i believe it's 25 and it just doesn't come with the shirt so the first shirt just says probably smut book club which i think you get with um everyone gets with their first order and they're bella canvas so they're really soft um because some books come with a special one so i'm kind of hoping that wildfire will get a special one but i really like this okay my stickers did come in this. I'm so excited. So we'll look at the stickers in a minute because that was just a separate order. Okay, so we've got, if you do the $40 box, you get a book journal, which I, I like this a lot. Um, you get that just with your first order. And then they give you like um, these sheets, which I know are in here. Let me try to pull these out. They give you like little um, sheets that go inside of them where you can review your books. Um, you can give your regular um, star and spice rating on it. Um, you can put your tropes, your quotes. And so I think every month you get a pack of these to go with your month of reading. And then you get the book journal the first month. This is like a um, grayish color and then it's gold embossed. It says a book journal. And then when you open it, it's got a slot where maybe you can put some stickers and stuff. Um, it's got some pockets here and then you've got your binder area where you can put um, the pages that they give you and I'm gonna open these I don't know if they're all the same or not we will find out I do have a book journal but I it's a blank and I have to draw everything and write the pages and as much as I really love doing that and I love designing my own I get behind sometimes so being able to just write everything out and they are all the same in this one being able to just write everything out is wonderful because I can go back to my journal later without having to like go through my Goodreads or remember what I was reading and go through it so this is going to be really helpful and then it just goes right in here. And I think they do have other ones of these, but with your first month, this is what you get. So that is really cool that they do that. What, um, let's see what else we got with it. So it is, everything else, the book and the other goodies were all tied up um, with this little note that says, packed by your probably smut team with love, which is super cute. And then we've got, um, some stickers that the, this pack of stickers was ones that I ordered this one is just ones that came with this box so we'll look we've got probably smut a book club threaded which is the name of the book this month I don't know if you can see that threaded um, and these stickers pertain to the book so the stickers that you get with your box each month are, are um, relate to the book this one says, without darkness, we can never experience the light. And we've got a fantasy reader lives a thousand lives, which I love. I think every reader lives a thousand lives. Um, and then you will be my undoing. 
So what I like about this is so when I do the journal, I can have the stickers that go with this particular book to put in my journal. And I'm wondering if that add-on of Icebreaker will come with their own stickers too because that would be amazing. So those are the stickers that came with this book. It's threaded and it is by um, a Tay Rose and I'm going to show you that. Because I probably smut does fantasy and romance and I believe this is a fantasy. It's giant. Look how big this book is. And it is called Threaded by Tay Rose. I don't know anything about it, so I will read at the back. Um, she spent her whole life craving freedom. Love is a weakness. Mariah must never forget that, but will she fall prey to it anyways? So I'm not going to read the whole back there. It is kind of long there, but I kind of want to be surprised. I have seen on Goodreads already people already reading this book, so... I am curious. I do know that it is like a fantasy, like romanticy book. So this is the book. Now they also include in the box some other goodies. We have an art print, which I will show this side. It's double sided. So this is side one. Um, side two is a little NSFW. Um, so I'm not going to show that, but it's basically this but she does not have the dress on. So we've got that. Then we've got this little um, card that says, Probably Smut Presents Smutty Book Smutty Chat. Now, if you become a member, and they do have a free membership if you just want to join the book club and not get the box, and it will send you a link to um, an app where you can chat about books, you can talk about what's coming in the box, you get discounts for their store and all kinds of stuff. And this just kind of talks about that. Book discussions, giveaways, it's just their book community. And then I got some annotation tabs that came with it as well, which I love because I've been trying to get into annotating. And then, um, oh, okay, cool. So for this particular book, there is a suggested annotation key, guys. Okay, this is cool because I starting out in annotating, I don't really know what to do. I just kind of pick one for quotes I like, pick one for romance or for each character. But this one gives you um, a key for this particular book to annotate and it pertains to the colors they gave you. It matches, like how super cool is that? So there's world building, favorite quotes, character descriptions, the characters, Mariah and Andrian, sweet and happy moments, spicy moments, sad moments, funny moments, and shocking moments. That is cool. I really love this. So um, that is what came for the monthly book. Now, like I said, I did, um, subs I am subscribed now. And so I have a wildfire and then I added icebreaker on that's going to be on the way. So I'm excited to see these stickers and goodies that come with that. Now let's look at the stickers that came that I purchased. So probably Smut will actually send you free stickers um, when you start out. But because I finally got off of the waitlist and got this, I ordered a pack of stickers, which gives me a little more, I think. So I've got books are my love language. Like I said I uh, journal, so I love having the stickers. Antisocial book club. Smut Slut with some lips. This one says F off I'm reading. Uh, I don't know if you can. There we go. We've got um, Romance Reader. Oh, well, these are going to focus. This one's a typewriter and it says never underestimate the power of a girl with a book. We've got, she's not the kind of girl you choose your battles for. She's the kind of girl you fight to the death for. And this is a Colleen Hoover quote. We've got the book stack that says, a read more smut. Feminist read romance. Sorry, I'm trying to hold these up. Um, I'm not doing a great job. Reading is badass. Facts. We've got a reading queen. In love with my boo. All I need is a coffee and a smut. Happiest when reading. Happily ever after or I'm out. 
We've got a Thirsty for Vamps. This one, probably reading a Monster Smut, which I've been getting into, honestly. Um, don't Knock It Till You've Read It. My Sexuality is Monsters. And I say F. I say the F word and read monster romance. So those are the stickers that came with it. I really love that. Um, that one, I got at some kind of discount, but I paid for them. But they do a free pack also if you're interested in checking that out. So I'm going to put these aside and we are going to move on to... Let's do book of the month because it's one book and then we'll get through Owl Crate. So of course we have our bookmark. It says a friend on the side. And it says, welcome to the friend zone in a good way. And the book I got was The Stranger Upstairs by Lisa M. Matlin. Um, this is a thriller. And it says, a gruesome history, a hostile neighborhood, a new owner with a shocking secret. Welcome to Blackwood House. So this is a um, thriller. I, I've been on a thriller kick lately. Romance, yes, of course, and always. But with Book of the Month, a lot of their romance books I'm either not interested in or I already own because I read romance all the time. So I'm excited for this one. Um, I don't know if this was a, I don't remember if this was debut author or I'm gonna have to look, but I'm excited to read this one. Um, so I don't know much about it. It's not super long. Um, so I can get through it. I'll read a little bit of the blurb on the inside to see if we can figure out what it's about. It says, most people wouldn't buy an infamous murder house to renovate for fun. But Sarah Slade isn't most people. Now I remember, this one is about a girl who buys a house. There was um, a murder in it. She's renovating it. And then some strange things to start happening to her. Um, so thriller, maybe like a little horror-ish. So that was our book of the month. Now... Sorry, I'm trying to clean up as I go because I'm bad with that. Um, now we'll get to Owl Crate. Okay. This is called Through the Seasons. Let's see what goodies we got. I said because I don't use a lot of these, I may um, do these in a giveaway because I'm thinking um, I will talk about my giveaway when I come back from vacation. So it'll be about mid-October-ish because we had hit 500 um and i'll do another to thousand but i think we're gonna do like a romanticy giveaway um and so i'll include some of this this stuff in there with the books and i already know what i'm gonna give away with it so i'll talk more about that in that video too okay so we got this purple box and opening it it looks like there is like a little canister which I already know what I'm going to do with this. This is going to be my new TBR jar. Yep. And it's absolutely going to be my new TBR jar. So this is just empty. There's like a little baggie in it. I'm going to look. We'll look at the spoiler card at what that is. I don't know what the baggie would be for. Unless this is supposed to be like a mini trash receptacle or something. But I'm going to use this as a TBR jar. I was going to get some paints and stuff. And stickers and make one. But we're going to use this. I really like that. Okay. So that's the first thing. And then we've got, looks like another pin. So the past two boxes, we've had, um, there's a limited edition pin collection. Oh, I'm excited about this one. Okay, so this is number 8 of 12, and this one is inspired by Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. I have not read that yet, but I do own it, and I'm excited to read it. Um, I plan to read it before the year is up, because I know that there's more books in the series coming out. But I have two other pins like this, and it shows like the book cover, and then it opens. It says, 29th October 1909, fairy circle found. Frost makes it difficult to find elements of magic. So it looks like it's a part of the book, but it opens, and then it shows the inside. It's trying to focus. So I really like these pins. They're like book covers and they have inside and then they're double, um, double pins. So I do have two others. I don't remember what the books were, but I will cherish these. I do like these. So I like that I got this one because I'm very interested in that story. Okay, so we got a pin. Next we've got, looks like a little, 
Oh, they're little highlighter sticky tabs. Okay, so this is the outside, what it looks like, what I saw. And it says, this is what you must remember. The ending of one story is just the beginning of another. I like that. The other side says, winter, spring, summer, fall. Death, death is the fifth and master of all. And when you open it, these are highlighter tabs. So for those of you who annotate, you can they're really thin and you take them off and you use them to highlight in your book rather than use an actual highlighter in case you want to take them off later so that is super cool I just highlight to be honest I don't know if I'll use those so that may be a giveaway also but we'll see um, next I got something that says owl crate exclusive for those who constantly cross over the threshold into fictional worlds, we've created a collection of stunning wooden doorways inspired by the stories you'll love to lose yourself in. I did see that this was going to be in there. Um, this one says, Story Doorways um, Narnia. So this one's Narnia. I, I believe you decorate your bookshelves with these. And like, however you have your books, like if your books are set up like this, the doorway is like this. And it looks like, you know, a doorway into your bookshelf. And it just goes in between your books. But I'm going to open and see what this Narnia one looks like. This is what it looks like. It says, Courage, Dear Heart. It's like a little doorway. So I think this goes in this way. And then you just slip it in front of your books. And it goes on your bookshelf. So I will be putting this on my bookshelf. I do really love that. So, so far this box has a lot of items that I'm actually really enjoying. Um, which doesn't happen often. Last but not least, we have... I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a little perfume. And it's called Fictional... It's from Fiction Bath Co. And it's called Rook. It's Bergamot in Autumn Woods. And let's see. It just... Oh, that smells really good. Okay, so it looks like a lip balm kind of, but uh, it is a perfume. And I believe you just kind of, you know, dab in like you would and just rub it on. So this actually smells really good. I, I do like this. I said, this has been like the best box. They always want to do that to me when it's my last box. Give me something I really love, so I'll want to resubscribe. I feel like they do that to me every time. Owl Crate did not used to do sprayed edges or anything like that. And I think just to keep up with these other book boxes that are doing that, they now do sprayed edges. They're not normally stenciled, but they are sprayed. So this one is very pretty. It's called Omen of Ice um, by Juicardo. I'm going to guess it's Juicardo, but if I pronounce that wrong, I'm so sorry. This is what it looks like. And on the front it says, when a fae falls in love, it's forever. I will actually like this one. Like I said, they're trying to get me because it's my last box. I do love a good fae story. I'm actually reading the Akatar series right now. So um, the back of it says, our lives cannot stop. They will all be watching us. And it has these like icy blue sprayed edges, which are just gorgeous and go really well with the cover. So looking inside... Um, there is, this is the front cover. Is that not gorgeous? Okay. And then the dust jacket is reversible and it looks like it's like a picture of the city or something on there, um, of the book. And then the actual cover and it's like metallic, you can tell. And it looks like it's probably the main couple. And then the back says, when a fae falls in love, it's forever. Shows the same thing. And here's the rest of the dust jacket. So this book is actually really gorgeous. And I, I will likely read this one. Um, I said I do like a fae story. And then when you open the front cover, it's got the handwritten signature by the author. And then the next page has a... Um, letter from the author which they sometimes do separate but this one is in the book and it's a little letter to the reader from the author um I won't read the whole thing especially if you're getting the box and you want to be surprised um and it is fairly long but the bottom says don't drink the pixie ale just trust me on this one that's super cute um I'll likely read this one I, I really like this I actually enjoyed everything in this box this has probably been my favorite owl crate to date so yeah, that was uh, our book mail. So we had our author books, 
we had the book of the month, probably Smut, um, our Owl Crate book, and then I said I have a PR box from an author I will be going over in a future video. So um, if you want to see all the books that I've hauled this month, not including, I won't include what is in these boxes because we just went over them, but I have over 70 books, okay? Um, I'm in some Facebook groups, I'm in some Discord groups, and so we've done fairy mails. I actually won a game in one of them where I won... Um, books like fifth for 15 minutes they were able to gift me and I got a stack of books there um, and then just some stuff that I purchased some books that are going out of print and I wanted the covers some special editions so I've got a lot to go over with you guys check me out in a couple days just keep watching the channel hit that notification bell um thank you for being so patient with me while I was kind of MIA for a while and watching this video um and I will see you guys in the next one thank you so much friends I have missed you